The business community today is a group of individuals that are somewhat pessimistic based upon all the uncertainty that's out there in the world. This comes through in our CEO survey that we've done at PwC for the last 23 years. But it's a group of people that engage with a number of stakeholders, their employees, their consumers, their investors, the community leaders, the regulators, the government perspectives, et cetera. So they have a great insight in terms of what the world's needing, and they have the ability to do something about it. Therefore, they have the ability to be much more trusted than others based upon what they choose to do, how they choose to do it, and what their future actions may do relevant to the stakeholders they're serving. CEOs need to engage with their employees on a very active and regular basis. It's got to be not communication, but rather engagement. The first thing they can do is describe the environment they're in. The second thing they can do is describe the strategy, how the employees themselves can actually activate and execute on that strategy and play a valuable role that's important to the business itself, but also to the individuals of it. The second thing that we've seen around the world is that CEOs have the ability to upskill their people. One of the major concerns people have in society today is, will I have a job? Will I be able to keep my job? As a result, CEOs should be focused on the skilling of people. That's why at PwC, we're focused on upskilling with our New World, New Skills initiative. And it's something that we believe governments and business and community leaders and educators should be doing together to make the biggest impact in the world for employees, future employees, and society at large. Business leaders today need to do three things to enhance and sustain the trust that they deserve and need to sustain themselves going forward. First is to make sure they're engaged with stakeholders. Listen carefully in terms of what's needed and the role that they can play in satisfying that. Second is to make sure they're very transparent in terms of the choices they're making, the initiatives underway, the actions they take, not only what they're doing, but why they're doing it and how they're doing it. And last but not least is take those actions, get to results, and thereafter communicate those results on a regular basis. Trust at the end of the day is about engaging with individuals, delivering on the expectations, and continue to do that on a sustained basis over time.